In lesson 5, we're going to reuse what we did in lesson 1 and lesson 4, so I recommend you go back and you do those two lessons before you start lesson 5. We're going to create a new table in Foreign Key Relationship in SQL Server. We're going to create a product list class in C Sharp and create a stored procedure. We're going to create and configure a child grid view using ASP.NET and C Sharp. And we're going to call class methods and check for nulls. In part one, we're going to create a product table on the enterprise database. We're going to create a foreign key relationship with the company table, and we're going to populate it with test data. Before we get started, let's make a copy of lesson four in the same directory, and let's rename it to lesson five. In Video Studio, let's go File, Open, Website. Navigate to our Lesson 5 and open. In Solution Explorer, let's go change the namespace in our data access component from Lesson 4 to Lesson 5. We'll do the same for the Connection Manager. And the same for the, the code behind. Let's run it. In Server Explorer, let's go open the connection to our database, open the tables, add new table. Let's add company ID, do not allow nulls, part ID, let's give that now 20. Do not allow nulls. Price. This will be a decimal. And we'll want two digits. Have a part description. We'll make that in text. Creation date. Make that a date time. And a replacement. Part ID. We'll make that 20 as well. Let's create the primary key. This would be company ID and part ID. And let's save it. It's called product. To create a foreign key, let's click on this button, Relationships, and then Add. On the tables and column specifications, Let's click that. We're going to relate it to the company table, to the company ID. This will be none. Click OK. In the insert and update specification, in the delete rule, let's select cascade. So if a company is deleted, all associated product information from the product table will be deleted as well. Close and then save. Yes. So let's close out of the, out of the product table. Oh, in your server explorer, right click on the product and show table data. So we're going to add some data. The company ID 1, let's give it a part ID. Price, we'll make it 1299. I went ahead and added this additional data offline. Take a minute to look at it. The importance is to have different company IDs, uh, which you have the same company IDs in your company table. And be sure to leave one of the replacement part IDs null so that we can test our null handling in, the, in part four. In part two, we're going to create a C-sharp class. It's fields, properties, a constructor, and a method. And we're going to create a stored procedure to retrieve the product data. To create a new class, let's open Solution Explorer. So right-click on the app code and add new item. 
class and we're going to call it product list and add. In our product list class, we're only going to need to have the using system. Let's delete this. Let's add, the add it to the namespace, lesson 5. Let's add our class fields. Going to have a private, read only, string, part ID. Have a private, read only, decimal, price, private, read only, string. Product description, private, read only, date time, creation date, and private, read only, string, replacement date, replacement part ID. Now let's add our class properties. We public string part ID. We get return this dot m part ID. Public decimal price. Return this dot m price public string product description get return this dot product description. Public date time, creation date, return this dot m creation date, and public string replacement part ID get return this dot replacement part ID. Now let's go create another constructor with a different parameter list. We'll call it public product list and string part ID decimal Price, string, product, description, date, time, creation date, string, replacement, part ID.